Okay guys, I've and Susan here from Vloggers on the Loose. We're on um, Thalang Road in Old Phuket uh, town and we're going to go for a walk around. We haven't been here for a long time, it looks like things have changed. So um, let's go and have a little walk around and see what's happening. Okay, so this here is supposed to be the main sort of road through the centre of uh, Old Phuket town. We just um, came in from Patong on a grab and um, the grab, the, no, it wasn't grab, sorry it wasn't grab, it was bolt. We came in, we um, used the bolt, the bolt service to come in here. The driver was really really good but um, bolt isn't as, um, as reliable as other YouTubers say because we had two, two cancel on us um, and one asked us to cancel and then uh, the fourth one we finally got so a bit of a hassle but anyway this guy was really really good who brought us here we had no problems with him and it cost us 200 and 10 baht from uh, Patong to Old Phuket town. So that's, that, the price was pretty good considering uh, the taxi guys on the road wanted about 500 I think. So Bolt's price is pretty good. There's a lot of um, a lot of these buildings have all been um, refreshed by the looks of it. All having um, paint jobs and that. Like I said, we haven't been here since um, the early 2000s. All the um, sidewalks look quite good, very good actually. <laughs> Compared to uh, Patong, this is brilliant. Check the, check the sidewalks out. They look really good. So we're just going to take a little bit of a stroll. We haven't had lunch yet, so um, we'll probably have lunch over here. These t-shirts aren't too badly priced also. And in the major one, looks Things seem, the, t the clothing seems a bit cheaper over here than in uh, Patong. This is a soy ramen here guys. Apparently everyone poses here to get their uh, photo taken and to appear on YouTube. So Susan's um, told me, my director has directed me to do the same. So. Romani, Romani soy or soy Romani. So we'll walk down soy Romani and see what's down here. Seeing that we are here, there are a lot of people here um, having their photo taken. A few um, trendy cafes over here. Of course, the old uh, dry lettuce shops are everywhere. You can roll them. Fold them, smoke them, do whatever you want with them. They are the dry lettuce leaf shops in Thailand. This space here looks like he does a lot of uh, desserts and stuff. I do need a cap, guys. I need a new cap. But um, so I was going to buy myself a bucket hat, but Susan reckons it doesn't suit me at all, so. Um, so I might just go for the old cap. I don't know, these things are new, that's probably how it's made. The, the vintage look. They probably are new, I don't know. Mm. 
Yeah, look at the architecture on that, guys. Looks pretty good. This um, old Phuket town is renowned for its um, nice um, architecture from yesteryear. Uh, the streets are nice and quaint. You can walk walk casually down here. There's no no traffic. I'm assuming the motorbikes, well, cars can come down here because there's cars parked here, but um, there's none at the moment and everyone's walking in the middle of the road. So there's um, a cafe over here selling all sorts of um, ice creams over here. And uh, it seems to be quite busy. There's durian ice cream also. We tried a durian in um, Chiang Mai. There's uh, durian. Uh, people are really getting into it over here. These people seem to be loving it. This bloke here, he's really getting into it. Hey, he loves it. Beautiful. <laughs> Good on you. There's another, the tie dye shop over here. This lady here, she's um, sha doing shaved ice. Look at her. She presses it down, molds it nicely. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's ice. And then she puts a, a flavor, liquid flavor on it. And she sells it off. I don't know what it costs. How much? How much? How much for that? 75 baht. 25. 25 baht for that. She does all sorts of uh, flavors. Oh yeah, it's written over there, guys. 25 baht, looks pretty good. Shaved ice with all sorts of flavors on. Thank you. There's a huge temple over there. Just spot it. Check that out, looks quite impressive. Now this here is uh, the Thai Dai. Look at this. This is what they call Thai Dai. All this clothing. Check the mural over there guys on the wall and the architecture in that building on the corner there uh, it looks very nice very impressed with um, old Phuket town so this is another side street here and um, have a look at that over there all these old artifacts um, little elephant ceramic art. And all the, um, so yeah, we're walking down another side street over here. And this will lead us back onto the main, uh, road. And then we'll head down that main road. And what do we got here? These are all um, cashews over here. Check this out. A lot of cashews. 40 baht for a packet over here. Salted cashews, 40 baht. That's, that's just under $2 for that. And these large ones here. And um, not sure how much they are. That's uh, so that. Oh, these are hundred baht over here. These are hundred baht, so that's about five dollars for that. So that's not a massive um, bag. 
And so far, there's another little shop over here. Of, um, like a little um, a mini um, supermarket. Every day is dessert day. There you go. If, you're a, if you've got a sweet tooth, that's the shop to be, the cafe to be in. get your daily dose over there it's a wine bar tapas and bakery so they've got everything in there it's a sort of um, a European type vibe through here they've done it quite well check this guy over here <laughs> he's got everything going there on his um, on his suit Look at a little dog Little dog there in the in the pram. Yeah, they've done it quite well through here, guys. So um, if you if you come to Phuket, don't hang around um, the normal spots over there on Bangla Road and all that, and all the bars over there. Come into old Phuket town. You'll be impressed. It really is nice over here. Very relaxed vibe. Um, easy to walk around the streets. You'll, you'll be very impressed with the sidewalks. They really are good. We can't comment yet on the, on the food because we haven't gone into any of the cafes yet. Here's a, another little um, street car making a um, fortune over there selling his durian we're back on the main drag over here main road Thalang Road and um, another thing I want to point out guys is that um, the clothing seems a lot cheaper over here than in Paton I mean, Susan liked this uh, shirt, and um, uh, that we asked how much, and they said 250 baht. And I just jokingly said, um, I'll give you 200, and she, got, she said yes straight away. So I could have gone, gone down further, actually, and I might have got it, but anyway, she hasn't bought it yet. We said we'll go back. In Patong, they don't... Um, they, they don't really like negotiating that low. So, and I do, I do um, class myself as quite a good um, barter over these people, but they're not, not into it anymore. So I'll try my luck in Bangkok, hopefully. Mind you, we, we have both been sick for the last two days, guys, so haven't really been out to, to try and barter for, for things on the street. Here's another clothing shop here, if you're into your lace and that. And a lot of um, lacy stuff going on there. And uh, these shirts here are selling for 250. And then these ones here are 200. Hello, how are you? Uh, lovely ladies just come out and uh, greeted us as we move along. What's this place here? This is a boutique house. So I would say it's a place of accommodation there. A little West Sean Cafe in here. And it's got to the quieter sort of part here. Not a lot of um, cars at all. Yeah, this is getting on the quieter spot. I think there's a, um, like a park up there or something. The 
night we're gonna have a look hi hey guys we've um, found this little restaurant over here in um, old Phuket town called Che and um, we thought we'd come have some lunch over here they seem to specialize in breakfast they got a hell of a lot of different breakfasts here all looks quite nice and they also specialize in smoothies by the looks of it they've got a lot of smoothies they've got a, a small um, lunchtime menu so we've ordered something for lunch we'll show you guys when the lunch comes so I've um, my smoothies just arrived guys looks pretty good it's a banana pineapple and coconut milk smoothie let's have a taste test yeah that's not too bad I can definitely taste the banana and pineapple can't, can't taste the coconut milk in there yet it's probably down the bottom somewhere not still tasting that part of that um, coconut milk and I actually ordered this for the coconut because I like coconut but anyway it, it's pretty good mmm nice refreshing mm. very good very tasty not a massive portion but that's probably what you get in the trendy cafes hey everyone I have got an apple and cinnamon and banana shake here so I'll see how that tastes oh yeah that's very nice very refreshing that's a good one that one uh, for my meal I got grilled chicken and rice so we'll see how that tastes mm -hmm. very nice that is a brilliant dipping sauce really nice that thumbs up the chair thumbs up hi guys we've just had lunch at chair cafe in old town phuket lunch is very nice and now we're just going to go for another little walk and um another little walk down through the town through the old town and um, check out a few things and then head back to um, Patong like I said before it costs us 210 baht to get from Patong to yeah check that big crayfish out there guys on the wall pretty impressive Pardon me. All these drinks over here, hello. These drinks, they look all nice and fresh. It costs us 210 baht to get from um, Patong to Old Town. And, um, these guys over here in Old Town, they're asking if we want a taxi. I said how much it take us back to Patong. They want to charge us over 400. So I asked him where his taxi was and he's pointed out. And I said, what's your taxi been doing all day? You've been doing any jobs? He goes, no. So he, he wouldn't drive to Phuket for 210 baht. He'd just leave his taxi idle all day. He could have picked up a fare from, Pat, from Patong back into Old Town. So I don't understand the way they think sometimes. Well, the old bugger just didn't want to drive. Who knows? So this has come to a little temple over here. We just took a 
we diverted over here. And um, there's a little temple, we'll do a little film in there and see how it goes. We won't, we won't go in, or we might. No, we won't go in. Because it means taking off your shoes and that. Sometimes you just don't want to take off your shoes. So that's a little temple um, in um, Old Town. The architecture out there is pretty impressive, all the different colours and that. So yeah, this taxi driver uh, would rather his taxi stay idle all day. Pleasant, pleasant place to sit. There's a few seats there. <coughs> I don't know what this is over here. Some sort of, um, I don't know what it is. It's all written in Thai. It's quite impressive. It's all engraved into granite. Looks quite good. Another one here. Um, some sort of shrine, Chronicle of San Tham, the shrine. <coughs> Another impressive little archway there. So quite a nice little uh, laneway there guys to walk down. The old town's starting to um, fill out now. There's a few people lurking around. <coughs> now all these people must have, unless they're staying in old town, they must have come in from uh, Patong, I would say. And so that there's plenty of work for the taxi drivers, but a lot of them don't really want to. Unless they get there what they want. And with the Aussie dollar as it is, we, we're not... Um, it's not cheap for Australians at the moment. You know, the Americans might think... Some of the American YouTubers, they reckon things are really, really cheap. But that's, that's for them. That's in their dollar, but not for us. It's not really cheap for Australians. Nice little uh, cafe there. I think it's a hotel. Check this place out. Check these ice creams over here. That look pretty cool. So old town's beginning to liven up a bit. There's another dry lettuce leaf shop across the across the road there. Lots of desserts over here, guys. We've got a sweet tooth.
Okay guys, um, we're going to wind up the video over here on Phuket Old Town. So um, we hope you enjoyed it and please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.